Hello guys, today the Atom RC Penguin showed up in my hangar. Since I'm also curious... <laughs> no, that's not the elevator, <laughs> that's the main wing. Standard Atom RC digital servers. The standard nose. Yeah, that's really nice with the right accessories. You could also call it vertical stabilizers. And the main fuselage, you have a lot of wing area with the main section. The six inch props, a screw in type of canopy cover, not just magnets. A nice idea of a ruler printed note where your battery should be to have the proper CG. 2004 motors, 2400 KVs. Second canopy cover. Now this is fun, the vertical stabilizers have this plastic bottom which snap into the bottom part. Yeah. It's not as much space on bigger planes, but it's plenty of space for the flight control. You install these plastic parts here, screw them in place. And there's this channel for the servo wire for easier transportation. It snapped in place. Here, if you press this white plastic part, you can unhook it. Screws. This is the 3M tape for the servo protector, servo horns, some spare wing root holders, XT60 for the battery lead, and the digital nose. And literally, just a few minutes later, only attach props and go fly. Right? Almost. I have to wait for the flight control that I ordered and for the DJI O3. But man, I'm excited for the, for the maiden flight of this, which for you will be quite soon, I promise. Since we have way too much throw on the ailerons, like the control service move almost 90 degree, move them in two holes, found a suggestion on Keys Lunos, Bonafit, Pirot, on his look on this plane and also reduce the tail serve. Also go in two holes here. And while I wanted to rearrange the push rods, I saw that this, I mean the screw was in but not the counterpart. That's dangerous. So please double check your control surfaces and the linkages. Okay, so I'm about to fire up Aina for the first time. Crossfire is bound. Model just copied. <laughs> Look at the nice little model stand that I get here and the LEDs are already working. It was a bit tighter than I anticipated. Cabling works rather nice. Yeah, crossfire just going out here and just where it's supposed to be the GPS is hidden. Now we'll just flash the firmware of INAV611. So that's how it turned out in the end. Or it's a bit scary to install the O3, a brand new O3 up front. Camera is not cheap. But yeah, let's just hope the best. So let's see how this thing flies. Okay, this will be the maiden auto launch. Prop direction, correct. Movement direction, also correct. Down, up, should work. Wish me luck. I'm tired of your voice I'm getting tired of the way you Leave me hanging with no choice If you would ask me long ago Back when you seduced me Yeah, I felt like a domino But I knew you were liability He said, baby
Okay, let's check the weight. My maiden flight, I flew it with this 200 gram 3000 ma lithium ion, 1866, 50 cells. Let's just try to see if the 2600 LiPo 4 cell also fits. And in this position, I can achieve proper CG. I just had to cut away this bridge, but yeah. This bridge doesn't do too much to the structural integrity of our plane, so it should be okay this way. The plane weighs 572 grams and it balances fine on the nose, like this. For sure we can add 200 grams of battery, but it should also be okay with this 277 grams. The 570 grams are with O3 in the nose. Notes that I've taken, especially the auto launch. The motors didn't spin up, both of them, when shaking the plane. So I had this one crash. Oh God! <laughs> okay, das war eigentlich. Ja, den haben Prop, wir wechseln vielleicht das Schiff. This time with my normal setup of arming, exit mode, half throttle. That's the way I like it. It was 40% auto, uh, throttle, idle throttle and then 70% for takeoff. Now with these settings that you can find in the description of course. It hopefully behaves in the air. And also the milliamp scale is now correct. The O3 inside the nose fits quite nicely. And even with this air vents, I still get a pretty hot O3 air unit. But yeah, that's the O3's fault and not the planes. I actually have found, and I will link it below, I found iFlight has custom heat sinks for the O3, which look nice and they cost like $8. My first day of testing I had like felt no winds at all on the ground but apparently around midday the air was very turbulent so I had gusts and micro turbulences all over and the plane felt awkward, not very reliable 
The next day had a bit of a breeze, but also a constant breeze in the air, and then it's no problem at all. If your plane flies weird, maybe it's just, yeah, it's, it's very lightweight and small, so it's affected by the wind, but not as much as I feared initially. The grips where you throw it are too slippery. Just applied some tape and I've heard this from a few reviewers. Lee from Painless 360 glued on a bit of sandpaper which is drastic but efficient. And also in one crash this ESC cover fell off so you might want to glue it in. So thanks a lot for watching my review. I will keep posting videos with this one here because I think I like it. And you should also see a nice FPV meeting where this plane was flown a lot, also crashed a lot. You've seen some sequences of it already. Thanks for all your comments, means a lot. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. For now.